Welcome to Mini Orange. This video will show us how to use the OTP verification plugin with the WordPress login form. Click on the OTP verification plugin from the left side menu. You can search and select the WordPress login form from the list. You will be redirected to the form settings page. Check the checkbox to enable the WordPress login form. How to enable phone verification for the WordPress login form on the OTP verification plugin. Enable phone verification option for WordPress login form. Follow these steps to add a user's phone number to the database. You need to enter the phone user meta key. If you don't know the meta key used to store phone numbers for your users, use the default value phone. The advanced features login with password and OTP and redirect to default page are enabled by default. Then click on the save settings button. Now go to the WordPress login form and enter your login credentials. Then click on the login button. A pop-up will appear prompting you to verify your identity. Enter the OTP that you received on your phone in the verification code field. Then click on the validate OTP button to validate your OTP. You have successfully verified your phone using the WordPress login form. Allow the user to add a phone number if it doesn't already exist. Please check the checkbox to enable the feature that allows the user to add a phone number if it doesn't already exist. Then click on the Save Settings button. Now go to the WordPress login form and enter your login credentials. Then click on the login button. A pop-up will appear prompting you to register your phone. Please enter your phone number including the country code to register. Then click on the Send OTP button. Enter the OTP that you received on your phone in the verification code field. Then click on the Validate button to validate your OTP. You have successfully added a phone number if it did not already exist. Allow users to log in with their phone number. Please check the checkbox to enable the feature that allows users to log in with their phone number. You can edit the username field text from here. Then click on the Save Settings button. Now go to the WordPress login form. You can now log in by entering your mobile number. Please enter your username, email, or phone number along with your password. Then click on the login button. A pop-up will appear prompting you to register your phone. Enter the OTP that you received on your phone in the verification code field. Then click on the validate OTP button to validate your OTP. You have successfully logged in using the WordPress login form. Do not allow users to use the same phone number for multiple accounts. Please check the checkbox if you want to prevent users from using the same phone number for multiple accounts. Then click on the Save Settings button. Now go to the WordPress login form and enter your login credentials. Then click on the login button. A pop-up will appear prompting you to register your phone. If you enter the registered phone number for the second account and click on the Send OTP button, an error message will appear. How to enable email verification for the WordPress login form on the OTP verification plugin. Enable email verification option for WordPress login form. The advanced features login with password and OTP and redirect to default page are enabled by default. Then click on the save settings button. Now go to the WordPress login form and enter your login credentials. Then click on the login button. A pop-up will appear prompting you to verify your identity. Enter the OTP that you received in your email in the verification code field. Then click on the Validate OTP button to validate your OTP. You have successfully verified your email using the WordPress login form. Advanced settings for phone and email verification. Advanced settings are available for both phone and email. I have selected phone verification. The login with password and OTP setting is an advanced option that is enabled by default. So far, we have logged in using the same feature. How to log in with only OTP for the WordPress login form. Now let's see how to log in using only OTP. If you want to log in using OTP, enable the radio button of the login with only OTP setting. Then click on the save settings button. Now go to the WordPress login form and enter your username or email address. Then click on the login with OTP button. A pop-up will appear prompting you to verify your identity. Enter the OTP that you received on your phone in the verification code field. Then click on the validate OTP button to validate your OTP. 
You have successfully logged in with only OTP for the WordPress login form. Allow users to log in using their username and password. Please check the checkbox if you want to log in using a username and password. Then click on the Save Settings button. Now go to the WordPress login form and refresh it. See the added login with password button. Enter your username or email address. Then click on the login with password button. Now you will see the password field. Enter your password and click on the login with password button. You have successfully logged in with your username and password for the WordPress login form. How to customize button text and CSS. If you want to change the text of the button, go to the form settings page. Please update the text for the login with OTP and login with password buttons. Then click on the save settings button. Now go to the WordPress login form and refresh it. You can see the button text has now been changed. You have successfully updated the button text. How to change login with password button CSS? If you want to change the CSS of the login with password button, go to the form settings page. Enter the login with password button CSS with a semicolon. Then click on the save settings button. Now go to the WordPress login form and refresh it. You can see the background color of the login with password button has been updated. You have successfully updated the CSS of the login with password button. Allow the administrator to bypass OTP verification during login. Please check the checkbox if the administrator wants to bypass OTP verification during login. Then click on the save settings button. Now go to the WordPress login form and enter your login credentials. Then click on the login button. The administrator successfully bypassed OTP verification during login. How to enable the delay OTP verification setting. Check the checkbox to enable a delay in OTP verification. Enter the interval after which you wish for OTP verification to get invoked for the user. Then click on the save settings button. Now go to the WordPress login form and enter your login credentials. Then click on the login button. A pop-up will appear prompting you to verify your identity. Enter the OTP that you received on your phone in the verification code field. Then click on the validate OTP button to validate your OTP. You have successfully verified your phone using the WordPress login form. Now if you log in within the interval period you entered, you will not be asked for OTP verification. Enter your login credentials and click on the login button. You have successfully logged in without OTP verification. Now if you log in after the interval period you entered, you will be asked for OTP verification. Enter your login credentials and click on the login button. A pop-up will appear prompting you to verify your identity. Enter the OTP that you received on your phone in the verification code field. Then click on the validate OTP button to validate your OTP. You have successfully logged in using the WordPress login form. Select the redirection after login. We also provide the option to select redirection after login. The option to redirect to the default page is enabled by default. Enable the radio button and select a page from the dropdown to enable redirection to the specific page after login. Then click on the Save Settings button. Now go to the WordPress login form and enter your login credentials. Then click on the login button. A pop-up will appear prompting you to verify your identity. Enter the OTP that you received on your phone in the verification code field. Then click on the Validate OTP button to validate your OTP. You will be successfully logged in and directed to the page you selected in the settings. We hope the video was helpful for you and thank you for watching.